Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. I think you can already see where this is going. Today we are talking honey badger. Two things, I want to introduce you to Bultong and I want to introduce you to a new, well not really a new honey badger but I think it's a honey badger that people quite commonly do not know what it's used for. Okay, we're starting to put it together. Um, first up, why honey badgers are so fantastic? Honey badgers are, this is the one I modded in one of the previous videos and showed you how to make the lanyard. Please go check that out when we are done here. Back to today. By the way, this is Saturday morning, it's quite early, I have to do this before my kids wake up, otherwise, yeah, no time for yourself. Um, honey badgers are wonderful because they are extremely cheap or affordable, let's rather say that. They are built really well, um, it's just a wonderful package, it's big value for little money. Okay, I prefer the 8CR13 MOV ones. Um, just because, like I said previously, the badger starts losing some of its wondrousness um, when you pay too much for it. They are fantastic because they are so affordable. Once you start paying more, um, then we are going into more expensive knife territory. Okay, um, okay back to this. HCR13... I like more for a honey badger, not in normal life, but for a honey badger I like the HCR13 MOV more than the D2. It's great corrosion resistance, it's easy to sharpen and it holds a decent edge. Also you can get these things extremely sharp extremely quickly. All of the honey badgers um, have roller bearings, um, it's 18 ball bearings in total um, and they have an immaculate action. Okay, it looks weird now because I'm kind of fighting my setup here but okay they are extremely drop shut they flip open like nobody's business wonderful knives fantastic action they are fiber reinforced nylon scales um we are going to dye another one later on and also um heat anodize the pivot and the hardware and the pocket clip but that's going to be on this one but that will be in an upcoming video maybe next weekend Okay, um, rigid honeycomb pattern, multi-directional grip, which means in any way that you hold this thing, it will grip always fantastically. Okay, um, jumping in all the right places, finger choils, which I normally like, but not always. Okay, and then it's resistant to, it won't slip out of your hand even if it's wet. Okay. This is the normal honey badger flipper. Let me quickly go through this with you. This is the normal little book you get. Um, these were with the old ones. These two are quite old. This one is the new one. Okay, or a newer one. We'll get into the differences now. We get the flipper, the honey badger flipper. Then we get the honey badger gut hook. Uh, if you want to go hunt with your uh, folding knife. And then we get the claw. Now the claw, you get them serrated and plain edge. This is more, I feel, for self-defense. And I'm not really into knife self-defense. I suppose you can do it in a situation, but hopefully, God willing, we will never be in that situation. Okay, so these are the honey badgers that we normally know. Now use the flipper for an example. The flipper has got a... Um, in the HCR13 they have this finger choil and then this is the one we want to speak about today this is the honey badger tong short for bull tong okay the tong is different from the normal uh, what do we call this one the honey badger opener okay they both have this wave opener at the top which means if you take it out of your pocket, it deploys. Almost broke my finger right there. Okay, so when you take it out of your pocket, it's like, poo, seconds, and you can start carving your boltong. Now, if you look at these two, the opener, which is a normal 
flipper shape or a normal drop point shape, but with the opener. And we look at the tongue, you can see a difference in the edges. This one has got the normal belly on it, like a normal um, drop point. And the tongue has got a straight edge. Also, finger choil, finger choil, no finger choil. Although it is 8CR13. When we buy these in D2, they don't have a finger choil. But this one, even in 8CR13, it does not have a finger choil. Why might that be? Okay. Now let's bring in the boltong. This is boltong. Let's get to this first. Boltong, um, I think the closest thing to compare it to might be... You see the fat coming out of it. That's delicious. Um, boltong, the closest thing might be something like... Um, beef jerky big difference um, beef jerky is smoked meat it's been cured by smoking it also in beef jerky there's no fat okay bultong you take a piece of meat you put it in brine um, yeah with all your spices and stuff you leave it in brine for a day then you put um, brown sugar and all your spices on there um, and lots of salt and then you hang it up and it dries for a week or two and then we get this it lasts forever um, some people like it wet some people like it dry some people like it without fat okay I love them with fat and I like them kind of dry them boltong okay now if we cut something on a cutting board this would be your preferred knife shape because there's belly in it and you have lots of contact Let's use it like that. You have lots of contact, contact while cutting on your cutting board. But if you are cutting a piece of boltong, you hold it in your hand and you cut it like this. Now the finger choil kind of gets in the way and you get caught up on that. So that's why we have the honey badger tongue. Okay, because of its flatness, it cuts wonderfully. And then we cut it like this. You sit there watching your rugby, drinking beer, which we're not allowed to do in South Africa at this stage. And you cut like this. No, you will not cut your thumb because only daddy cuts it and the kids just wait for their little piece. And then when you have enough, you cut it off and then you eat it like this. So you get these nice little packages and then you take them off and you eat them and the whole family is happy and it's delicious. Um, later on today we are going to make a boltong pot, so watch out for that second video. Okay, honey badger tong. Need to show that to you. Um, I know lots of people buy these things for tactical use because the um, straight edge makes it better when we do reverse cuts and things like that. Um, but it's actually made to cut your boltong. The wave opener is just there, I suppose, to Pull it out of your pocket and immediately start cutting bolton. Okay. Hope you enjoyed this look at... Oh, and do you see my little honey badger background there? Nice. Okay. So really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Bye-bye.